Hey guys, Anthony here. Thanks that you're tuning in. Today I got a question and answer video for you guys. You guys left some questions last week and I'm gonna answer them. I'm gonna reply as many as I can, short answers. Without a further ado, let's start this video. Question number uno, Milan. Are you thinking about participating to Ninja Warrior in the Netherlands again? Yes, for sure. Last time I was in my bulk, I was heavy and I wasn't that satisfied. But uh, yeah, let's do it over. It was such a great experience. For sure, I'm gonna join. When are you doing the 10K challenge again? You were going to do it with Brownie, but you ended up not doing it because you cheated too much the day before, right? So will you still do it? Yes. I will do this, but it might be a 15K challenge because yeah, I completed the 10K challenge, so it's not really a challenge anymore. But it's still difficult, but yeah, I'm just gonna call it a 15K challenge and I'm gonna try it. So yeah, I will do this and I, I, I kind of look forward to this, but I think on my Dutch channel because more reach. Do you prefer to use pre-workout? Nope, only coffee, that's the only stimulant I use. Two, sometimes four a day. Till what age do you think you keep training? I really don't know, I'm sorry. I hope as long as possible, so 65, 70, still doing my pec fly that I love. Mandy asks, hey Anthony, thanks for all your videos, no problem. I have a small question, I'm a woman, 24 years old, and I work out four times a week, great. But with the bench press, I stay up to 45 kg. Do you have any tips? Thank you. This is a decent weight for a girl, so congrats on uh, achieving 45 kg. Um, if you have some micro plates in your gym, try to uh, implement micro plates or just adding an extra rep because f from 45 to 47 kg is a big step. Uh, especially for women. So the English word is fractional plates and they go from uh, 0.25 kg. Those small steps can definitely help you bring it up to 47.5 kg, but you might need four trainings for that. Do you know a good exercise for swimmers that want to improve their shoulders? Uh, look up for the pike push-up. I did it on my Dutch channel in a uh, home workout video. I don't know if it's good for swimmers, but it's good for your shoulders, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thijs asks, what do you think of CrossFit and do you like to make a video of it once? I train at Fondo Gym and Fondo Gym is really a CrossFit minded gym. There are a lot of CrossFit group lessons, so uh, I might attend to one lesson and uh, I hope I can record it and uh, I hope you like it because I did it once, uh, there was a bloggers event at the Fondo Gym, that was my first time I was there and um, yeah, we did three different group lessons, the vlog was up on Meringue's channel, Student Aesthetics and uh, yeah, we, we started off with yoga, then we did kickbox and then we did crossfit. I didn't like kickbox, it was too much cardio, but crossfit, yeah, I was pretty good at it and I liked the challenges. And yeah, I just like yoga, stretching, mobility, that's a class I still follow. Did I say group lessons? I think it's class, but still learning guys. Which dumbbell exercises are the best to get big muscles? Well, just the compound exercise like dumbbell bench press, dumbbell row, chest supported dumbbell row, Arnold press and shoulder press. Those are one of the best. And don't uh, forget about the legs, split squat, walking lunges, great exercise with dumbbells. Really, if you want to train at home with dumbbells, you're fine. You don't even need a barbell. Uh, to start off with. I like this question. Which form of cardio is good during fat loss to save as much muscle mass as possible? How much time and when to do it? To keep your muscle, it's more about your strength training. Are you still training heavy? Are you hitting every muscle group two or three times a week? And of course your nutrition. So don't go too low in calories. Don't drop all the carbs. That's an important thing to uh, remember. The two forms I like is short, high intensity interval training. So like sprints, walk, sprint, walk for around 10 to 15 minutes and stop. Don't go too long on this or just walking. So low intensity training. So a long time of cardio, 60 minutes of walking is like 200 calories and maybe 10 minutes of sprints 
is also 200 calories. They don't really burn muscle if your nutrition is on point and if your strength training is on point. Whether you advise to bulk or cut, especially for beginners who haven't been training longer than two years. I feel like there's not a lot of good content is available about this topic at this moment. Uh, Trivium Physique, he made a video uh, completely about skinny fat. Do you have to bulk or cut? His answer was sometimes you can do both at the same time, a recomposition when you're under 18 or when you've only been training for one year, so a beginner, then you can try achieving both goals at the same time. When you don't feel comfortable, like he said, with your body, just cut down and try to minimize cardio and still hit every muscle group three times a week and try to increase in strength. And sometimes you can, yeah, build, build up muscle because of the extra strength and you can lose fat at the same time. Ah, I like this question. Someone out of Amsterdam or out of the Netherlands, he asked, do you ever go to Amsterdam? How are the girls? Well, yeah, I'm almost every day in Amsterdam. My gym is in Amsterdam. Uh, I used to party once a week, sometimes two times a week when I was around 18. I, I liked it, but nowadays I've been to Rotterdam and I like that more than Amsterdam. Maybe because it's just completely different for me, but also in Amsterdam there are a lot of tourists and no hate to tourists. I don't really like Amsterdam for parties, only festivals or ADA, Amsterdam dance events, yeah, when there are really good DJs, but clubbing in Amsterdam, nah, I don't really like it. Uh, big question, what's up Anthony? Right now I'm cutting body fat at 2700 calories a day and I was wondering if I can eat whatever I want as long as I stay under the 2700 and keep my protein high or he needs the exact macros like blah blah blah, for example. Um, yeah, this is a good question and there was something on Instagram that popped up and I totally agreed with it. If it fits your macros, it's not as great as everybody thinks. Like, if you only eat crap, you're gonna be hungry, your hormones won't like it. So you can like eat 80% healthy and just add in something that you're craving for, but you cannot like eat a shit diet and hit your calories every day. It, you can do it for one day and still, uh, yeah, hit that calorie intake and your protein intake. It won't last for a few days. If it fits your macros, doesn't mean you can eat shit every day. Yeah, period. Ah, here's a question where somebody commented also on the question, so two people are interested. So his question, what do you recommend to be the best recovery time between sets? Uh, and somebody else commented, especially for your free push-pull program series, you don't specify unless I missed it. Yeah, because rest time is uh, something I discussed in the how to program video. A few years ago, everybody was talking about, yeah, for hypertrophy, you need short rest time. But nowadays it's debunked, it's a myth. You can also grow <laughs> muscle with longer rest periods, with heavy compound exercises. So rest time is more of a feel thing. When you don't feel ready, don't start your new set. You just need some good rest because you don't want bad technique and you wanna perform. A better performance is also more gains. So rest time is more of a feel thing. So if you feel ready, just hit it. To give you more of a sp specific answer, around two minutes plus on compound exercises, and when you're going heavy, like five or six reps, take three, four or five minutes on squats, bench press, maybe pull-ups three minutes, and on the smaller uh, isolation exercises, take around 60 seconds to two minutes. Around what body fat percentage is the best way to build muscle? I think around 10 to 13. Yeah, somewhere between that, because when you exceed 15% to 17, you're more likely to store your body fat. I like to stay lean this time. When doing a six day push pull schedule, do you use the same push schedule for both days or do you have two different ones? If so, why? I like to switch it up just to have more exercises and to keep the push training simple. So some people who do a push pull split or push pull leg split, they do way too many sets. So keep it more simple on the training day and get more variety with your other day. And you can also do a strength day and a hypertrophy day. I'm having some trouble growing my chest, nothing seems to work. And also my breasts are shaped like an arrow. Do you know what to do? Some tips. I like pausing at the bottom 
So focus on stretching also, weighted stretch, frequency, so hitting them three times a week, dropping the volume and intensity high. Don't train too much to failure, maybe only on your flies or your last set of every exercise. Yeah.